nice stuff you love for the elk hunt. Won't be able to show any of the hunt while we're in the base because that's not allowed or any photos, but we are outside of Hannah, Alberta and making our way down on the Memorial Highway. Guys are in front of us. Well, it's a early start this morning. It's just after 5 a.m. We're on our way to the CFB Suffield Hunt to the CFB base, just outside of Medicine Hat and. Like most places early in the morning, you don't get many choices for breakfast. Staying out of a hotel, it's not like in camp, but today we got McDonald's. And probably tomorrow too. Just a light little bit of snow just starting to come down. It's just, just at the freezing mark and hoping we're going to have a great day. We'll keep, it, we'll keep you posted on a few things while we can before we can no longer use cameras on the base. Waiting patiently in line, morning brief, and then everybody will be released to a thousand square miles of open area. Respect for other hunters, humane harvest of these elk, compliance with the regulations. We want to see a lot of safety. Know your target, know your backstop, your firearm, and have a high level of situational awareness with other hunters out there. We want to maintain this uh, hunting opportunity for the hunters of Alberta. It's only possible with the cooperation of the Department of National Defense. Well, we've finished the morning briefing. Everything went well. We're heading out towards the range. This here range, again, is about 100 miles by 100 miles approximately square. So 1,000 square miles of open country. And we go into one main access point, and from there, you go in to hunt into the designated areas that you're permitted to hunt in. However, we're not able to take any photographs or video within the range itself, but I've been showcasing a bit of the, the route and the steps along the way. It's a foggy start to the morning again. We're out here 5.30 a.m. heading out for day two of the elk hunt. We were successful at the end of the day yesterday. We got a young elk had come up over a ridge, which was kind of cool. We captured any videos or photos of that because we're not allowed to take any of those in the range. And aside from that, just got a dressed out elk and game bags in the box. So bury all the view on that, but we'll see what today brings. Well, it's day three of the hunt, last, last day for us. First day out, we were successful getting the young elk, which was awesome. Yesterday, the fog was having things very limited. Total distance was maybe about 100 yards viewable to 250 yards at times. Didn't see any elk yesterday, however, we were able to see many pronghorn. Got within a herd of, we count a total of 71, about 200 yards away. Seen other ones, a couple of muley bucks, which was really nice. And it was uh, unsuccessful on filling a tag, but successful in seeing some nice wildlife. and pretty unique country when it's fogged right in, but today it's crystal clear. We're hopeful that we're going to have a chance to get any elk today, or one of our hunting friends was successful in walking in on some yesterday. We had seen tracks, but they, they were successful in getting a cow, which was awesome. And we'll see what this day has in store for us. 
day three of the Suffield hunt. Morning brief went well. I've got to say this uh, system that our Canadian Forces has for getting people through uh, to provide this opportunity is pretty slick. They're very efficient, polite, and professional. And this is a real you know, privilege to be able to get out here and have this hunt. It's awesome. Hey everybody, it's uh, the completion of our third day at the Suffield elk hunt used to reduce the herd sizes out here. I've been a helper for my good friend and we've had a good time. We got one younger elk which was awesome on Monday. Tuesday was filled with a lot of fog and today was a nice clear day which was great. We got a lot of, a lot of kilometers under our feet. We were able to see two different herds. One, one herd was uh, still quite a few kilometers into the distance from us and we wouldn't have had a chance to go in after it. It had been too far from uh, the truck and be able to get out in time. It was awesome being able to see it. Seeing a moose in here today, that was unbelievable. I would never have imagined seeing a moose on the base. Got close to another couple herds of antelope. One herd was around 50, another one around 40, and then a couple smaller groups of them, around a dozen each, which was which is really nice to see. Some really awesome mule deer, but all in all this was a pretty interesting hunt. You gotta plan to do a lot of walking if you want to get into the elk. In my opinion, some people may get lucky on some of the trails that you can travel down and be able to get off of it and be able to see one and harvest one but ov overall I think you gotta spend a lot of time on foot. We did, quite enjoyed it and it was nice. Hopefully this hunt is sustainable for, for us to have for years to come with the right amount of population that's in it. And with that, thanks for tuning in if you've uh, watched it this far and as I share some of our experiences on this hunt. Again, I can't share any photos or videos from within the, the range itself. One isn't allowed to take any, and so I didn't. I'm not breaking any rules, and I don't ever plan to. So again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you the next time on uh, whatever outdoor adventure or some type of DIY I got going. Cheers.